Since 1999, Tampa Electric has increased energy generation by 25%. As we've grown, we've reduced carbon emissions by 50%. Our customers expect clean, reliable, affordable energy, and we're achieving that with exciting plans for continued carbon reduction. An important part of this story begins at Bayside Power Station. Bayside is an extraordinary power station that kicked off Tampa Electric's path to clean, green, affordable energy. This is the Bayside story. There's always a backstory, so before you learn more about Bayside, meet Gannon Station. Named after Francis Gannon, the company's fourth president, Gannon Unit 1 came online in 1957. By 1967, when Unit 6 began generating, Gannon was a 1200 megawatt station. Gannon provided generation to Tampa Electric's service area for 45 years and used coal, then oil, then coal again. In the year 2000, Tampa Electric was the first utility to reach a consent decree with the EPA. The consent decree was an important milestone for the company. It paved the way for $1.2 billion in emission reduction investments. It was our initial step toward producing cleaner, greener electricity. Then Florida Governor Jeb Bush hailed it as the largest pollution reduction achievement that this state has seen in the last quarter century. Eight years later, Tampa Electric was recognized for carbon reductions by the Chicago Climate Exchange for compliance with the greenhouse gas commitment to reduce carbon dioxide by 4%. Our reduction was 20%. Since then, we've reduced our carbon emissions even more. How did we do it? One way was to repower the Gannon steam turbines so Bayside would run on natural gas. This was at a time when many companies kept their steam turbines running on coal, the cheapest form of electricity. Tampa Electric took the cleaner path. Back to Bayside, born of the Gannon conversion. Today, Bayside has two combined cycle units and four simple cycle Pratt & Whitney aeroderivative units. The combined cycle units use seven General Electric combustion turbines and two repowered Westinghouse steam turbines. Ready for some tech talk? Let's break those units down. You've met Unit 1, a 3-on-1 combined cycle unit that began production in 2003. Unit 1 took advantage of an existing Gannon steam turbine. Unit 1 generates 792 megawatts, or enough energy to power around 515,000 homes. And we've mentioned Unit 2, born in 2004. Unit 2 is a 4-on-1 combined cycle unit that also uses steam from a Gannon turbine. Unit 2 produces 1,047 megawatts, enough energy for more than 680,000 homes. Let's take a look at how Combined Cycle works. Combined Cycle technology enables power plants to generate 50% more electricity from its fuel than it would with a conventional single cycle power system. Under this dual phase system, Two combustion turbine generators operate in conjunction with two heat recovery steam generators and a steam turbine generator. In the first cycle, fuel is burned and the resulting combustion gases power two turbine generators to produce electricity. Hot exhaust normally lost during this process is captured and routed through the two heat recovery steam generators. These units boil water to create steam, which spins an additional turbine generator and produces more electricity. Finally, the steam is discharged into a condenser, which returns the steam to its liquid state for recycling. As you saw, most combined cycle plants are one-on-one, -on -one, one combustion or gas turbine to one steam turbine. Some are two-on-one. Bayside Units 1 and 2 were unusual in their 3-on-1 and 4-on-1 combinations. But our area was growing, and Tampa Electric filled the growing need for electricity with the 3-on-1 and 4-on-1 units. Bayside was unique in converting to gas in 2000. Not many plants were switching from coal back then, unlike today. There's more to Bayside than Units 1 and 2. In 2009, four Aero Natural Gas Peaking Units were installed. The peakers support Tampa Electric's commitment to provide reliable power for its customers. They generally run when there's high demand for electricity, 
For instance, when customer demand spikes because of extreme weather or during major outages. Each peaker is made up of two 30 megawatt engines. Power from the peaking units can start Bayside's larger generating units during a blackout when power from the grid isn't available. This is called black start. Their quick start ability means the company can turn them on to full load status in 15 minutes. Quick start is an economical way for Tampa Electric to maintain our required operating reserves so we can respond to statewide system disruptions. Bayside's total capacity is more than 2,000 megawatts net, which is 44% of Tampa Electric's total capacity. In 2020, Bayside produced more power than Big Bend and Polk, Tampa Electric's other generating stations. Bayside is also remarkable in the number of startups it goes through without losing a beat. The station is cycled up or down to meet system demands. In 2020, Bayside had 665 startups with minimum impact to reliability. Good for our customers, good for our company. How many people do you think are needed to generate 44% of Tampa Electric's capacity? Bayside has transitioned from a high of 350 to just 65 people today. And they aren't all here at the same time. During weekdays, the station has about 30 people on site. But at night, nine team members are all that's needed for normal operations. Tampa Electric uses a process called Selection for Excellence for all craft positions. The highly skilled team members in operations work 12-hour shifts. They perform both operations and maintenance roles. Engineering, technical, and administration staff round out the Bayside family. Energy delivery, other energy supply team members and contractors lend support when needed. The Bayside team is especially proud of their work, so much so that they've developed their own slogan. We own it. We own it is a simple statement with a complex meaning. Bayside team members rely on their own skills and training, from safety to repairs, to keep the station running. They own safety. They own reliability. They own quality. They own Bayside. Bayside Power Station, the most reliable station with the lowest O&M costs in the Tampa Electric fleet. Bayside, combined with efforts to transition power to lower carbon emitting fuels, such as natural gas, at Big Bend and Polk, and shifting more power generation to solar, we're building a cleaner, greener energy future.